Okay, so welcome to week 39. I'm 39 weeks, one day pregnant. I can't believe I made it this far. Well, I can, but I can't. It's just like flown by. Different, well, same location, just like a few feet over. This is where the, I'm sitting on my birthing ball, if that's why I look a little unstable, <laughs> bouncing. Um, this is where the co-sleeper used to be. My husband has now moved that into the bedroom. Um, so here, I'm going to put the glider, so the, the glider will move over a few feet, so um, when I do the nursery tour, you'll see the setup of what is actually in her nursery, because there's no bed anymore. There's the glider, or the co-supers in our bedroom, and I'll show that to you. Um, so, um, yeah, my husband set up the co-sleeper, and one of the big things for the co-sleeper was the legs. If you're familiar, familiar with the Arms Reach co-sleepers, they sell leg extenders, so that the um, co-sleeper and the bed can be on the same height because we have a, a pillow top mattress so our bed is actually really high so the leg extenders I read the reviews and they did not seem that great so my husband actually built um, I don't know our own version of leg extenders um, he got some PVC piping and um, brackets and actually it's really sturdy sorry it's really hot outside and really thirsty today um, so now we just need to like finish, like straighten up the nursery because now it's just like stuff is all moved around and I need space for like blankets and stuff um, that were just like stored in our co sleeper for now. So that's a big thing out of the way. Pretty much all the decorating is done. Um, I just have a few little things I need like the lampshade um, from her diaper um, t changing table can't find what I'm happy with um, and put a couple pictures up and I think that's it so that's really great um, pretty much ready for her except for straightening up the nursery and stuff uh, what else so this week has not been that much different um, just really an increased amount of Braxton Hicks contractions and um, they're are they're annoying and I really hope that they're actually doing something and um, I'm progressing in some way shape or form I went to a midwife's appointment on Wednesday and um, not check still and we talked about what will happen if I go over so my next appointment is on my due date which is Friday the 8th so if I make it that far she said that um, they will check me that day and she said that they could do a membrane sweep if I was interested. And I'm not really 100% sure I want to do that yet because um, the midwife that's on call that day, I'm not the biggest fan of. So if I go into labor that day, she would be the one to deliver. And if I deliver the next day, which is the 9th, my doulas, both of them, are out of town. So they're arranging for a backup doula, but I'd really rather not have a backup doula. Doula. Um, so I'm really going to have to think about the membrane sweep. I'm debating asking her if we can just do it, if I can come back on Monday, because I work at the hospital where I'm delivering at, and I work literally 25 feet from the OB-GYN clinic. I don't work in the OB-GYN clinic, but I work really close to it. So um, I could just pop by on Monday and see if somebody could give me um, a quick memory sweep. I don't know how long it takes or whatever. I think it is quick, but um, we'll see what she says about that. Unless something happens between now and then. So things that we're doing to um, not really induce, but to um, kind of encourage labor. Um, eating pineapple. I am drinking the red raspberry leaf tea still. I am doing the evening primrose. I'm doing one orally and two suppository vaginally style. Um, walking, um, intimacy, those kinds of fun things. Sorry, Dad, if you're watching. Um, but you know what they say. You get the baby out the same way you got the baby in. So we'll see what happens. Um, nothing so far. Lots of cramping and nothing else. Um, she said that she talked, my midwife talked about, um, what happens if I go past 40 weeks. She said at 41 weeks, they can offer me to be induced. And I said, no, I'm not interested in that. So she said, okay, so we'll schedule a 41 week appointment or 41 week appointment. 
And at that appointment, they can do an ultrasound and a non-stress test to check the baby to see how she's doing. And then after that, they'll let me go up until 42 weeks and then um, they talk pretty much doing induced, induced labor. So um, I really hope I don't make it to that 41 week appointment. I really don't want to pay for another ultrasound. I don't want the non-stress test. I mean, I don't have to do those things, but I probably would if I did make it to 41 weeks anyway. So I don't even want to make it to my due date um, because of all like the circumstances. And I know she'll come when, she'll, when she comes, but I really, I'm just really stressed about both my doulas being out of town the day after my due date. So um, we'll see what happens between now and then. Um, nothing else really is new. Just a lot of cramping, a lot of Braxton Hicks for sure. Um, I had a night... I think it was Wednesday, I woke up, I had two or three contractions that actually woke me up. Um, they were pretty painful, but nothing happened. So um, I actually called work and I was like, well, I'm going to stay home and try to rest in case something does happen, but nothing happened. So that was disappointing. Oh, no loss of mucus plug, nothing. So um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to at least go till 40 weeks, at least if not over but we'll see what happens so anyway that's it for this update i will do a belly shot hopefully within the next week we will do the nursery tour before she comes because it's like i said pretty much complete but a few little things and that's it okay belly shot another dress i'm probably gonna wear dresses um every every shot until we have her you can really see my belly because of the backlight so there she is. If you want to guess how much she weighs, let me know. I'm curious. I'm guessing she's going to be eight and a half, nine pounds. But we'll see. All right. See you guys later.